Hey girls and guys, it's Presley. And remember um, the video I made last year of when I said I was gonna go to a pride parade, but then things changed and plans got canceled. Everything was just a big mess. This year's a bit different. My mom actually took me to a pride festival a couple weeks ago in Dallas and I had a really fun time. My mom and I had a really fun time. And as soon as we, um, were walking there they had free um some of them ha, um some there was like this little wagon that had free water and free snacks and those people once we entered the festival were really really sweet there was a bunch of other people there too it was a kind of crowded but it was all right as long as i had a good time there I, it everything was good they had a bunch of cool merchandise there too, like fans, beach balls, necklaces, t-shirts, a bunch of cool stuff. Like I got this necklace inside one of the buildings. I know most of um, the festival is like outside, but they had some buildings in there and the AC felt really good as soon as we went inside one of the buildings. And I got this necklace inside one of the buildings and I also got this t-shirt, if you guys can see, that says Dallas Pride. This is like the second shirt that I picked. Well, my mom picked for me because the first one was a bit too big. So this is like the second shirt that she picked out and tried to like size it on me without me actually having to wear it. And it fits really nice. Except the collar at, at, the, at first was a bit, you know, tight, but I, I paid it with my own money and it was a really, it's a really nice t-shirt. I really like it. And I also got a fan, which I got outside, like in one of those stands. And I must say this fan is like, this fan is really cool. It's like really necessary because it was so hot out. It was like 80, 90 degrees. Like who I must say it was oof. And um, inside, I think they had drag, they had makeup, they had jewelry, they, bought, they had all kinds of cool stuff. It was amazing. All those people were super sweet. I'm, I'm hoping I can go again someday because the first time I went, it was amazing. One of those things I'll probably never forget and probably will never forget because I'm uploading this video right now to you guys. And, after my mom and I were finished with the festival, my feet were kind of exhausted because I was, we were all walking. We were all walking and no, no, sh no shortcuts. We couldn't even drive all the way back to our car, like drive all the way, to, like the parking lot was far and we had to walk all the way to the festival. It was pretty far. It felt like a mile to me, but I was able, we were able to get to my mom's car, turn up the AC and then go to my grandma's house spend the night told my grandma all about the things we've done and we had a fun time we also went out to eat it was a really good weekend a couple of weeks ago it was really fun and I'm so glad I was able to experience something as amazing as pride festivals and I'd never been to a pride parade but the festival was good enough it was it was more of an experience and it was better than nothing, either festival or nothing. I mean, they had the parade on um, Sunday. Saturday was the festival. That's what we, my mom and I went to. Sunday was the parade, which we didn't go to because we had to go home afterwards. After um, I stayed at my grandma's, my mom and I just had to go home. We were tired. We had a really, really eventful weekend a couple weeks ago. It was. I really enjoyed it. I had a blast. And so did my mom too. She couldn't believe how many nice people were there too. Also, I forgot to mention, as soon as we kind of entered the festival, there were some dudes with these picket signs talking about, uh, they were, they were some, they were some anti-LGBT like people. I don't know why they were like near the festival. Like why would they show up there in a place where a bunch of people can just be themselves and be happy and you got these shitheads trying to ruin the fun saying being gay is like having vomit on my shirt. And then as soon as my mom and I were walking past those two dudes, those, those, those people to like go through the festival, 
one of them pointed at me or my mom, I didn't necessarily look. And then, and then, the, then the guy said, you have been marked. And I tried so hard not to laugh because whatever those guys were talking about, it was funny to me. I, I find it hilarious. I know homophobia is not okay, but whenever whenever people try to get their point across of like LGBT like stuff, I find it hilarious. They they try so hard to get their point across when they're failing pretty bad. Like it's not stopping us from going to the festival and being ourselves and being happy. Like those shitheads are just another like small ob obstacle we can just walk past. I don't know if we can just call them an obstacle. They were just there. <sighs> kind of unnecessary. We can just easily shrug them off and just walk and ignore what they're trying to say. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.